What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Twinmotion tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make changes in your SketchUp model and then update your Twinmotion rendering so that those changes are incorporated. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the things that uh, can get a little bit interesting when you're working in Twinmotion is when you're dealing with the stuff in the uh, outliner or the, uh, or the object stack over here on the right-hand side, um, sometimes finding objects and deleting them or moving them or something like that can be a little bit frustrating. So like for example, I brought these flowers in from the SketchUp warehouse. Well, you can see how these are all in here as the, as individual parts and pieces and it can be really frustrating trying to scroll through and find that stuff, especially if you're using like a 3D warehouse model or something like this where you had no control over the way this is set up. And so the easiest way to remove these plants are these flowers because they're not very realistic. They're kind of the low poly SketchUp plants would be to remove them inside of SketchUp. So that's going to be the easiest way to get rid of this. But as you know, there's no live link between SketchUp and Twinmotion, right? So this model, um, and I do want to give model credit, this is the LA House by SZ Kristoff. I've used this in multiple tutorials before. So you can go look for that in the, uh, you can look for that in the 3D warehouse and download that if you want to follow along. Um, it's going to look a little bit different. I have some different flowers in here. But um, what we've done is we've gone inside of Twinmotion and we've imported this SketchUp model using the import function. So if I was to fly around and look at this, you can see how we brought in this whole model and we imported the whole thing inside of Twinmotion. So this has been imported from that SketchUp file. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna go in and we wanna delete out these flowers inside of SketchUp because you can see how it's a lot easier for me to just come in here and make that change just by doing this. And you could hide these as well. Um, in this case, I'm just going to delete them out. But what we're going to do is we want to delete these inside of SketchUp. And so when we do that, when we hit delete, and then we go into twin motion, you can see how nothing's happened. Nothing's changed, nothing like that. So that, that didn't really make any changes. But what we need to do is we need to update the update the imported SketchUp file. And so the first thing we need to do in order to do that is to save this model because we've made this change inside of SketchUp and we need to save that change. So I'm just gonna go to File, Save, and I'm gonna save that model. And so when I save that model, this change is being incorporated in here. Well now, the change still hasn't happened in Twinmotion um, because we haven't told it to do anything with that. And so the way that we can get this to update to the most recent version of the model is to go into this import tab and find the section where that model came from. So, or, or find the uh, file that that model came from. So in this case, it's gonna be this file right here. And then if you'll notice, when you look at this, there's a little button right here that looks like a pair of arrows. Well, what that's gonna do, if you click on it, is that's going to go back and that's going to re-import this SketchUp model. And it's going to keep it in the same location that it was before. So you can see how as the screen pops up, this replaced this model with the newest version of that model, but it kept the location intact. And so if you look around, you can see how that means that those flowers are no longer in here like they were before, but everything else stayed the same. So if I was to fly outside, turn around and look at this, this whole model didn't move. Um, all of the custom materials like this wood that I applied to it stayed the same, um, but it updated so that those flowers are no longer in here. So you can use this refresh button um, to re-import your models into twin motion after you've made changes really quickly. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you find this helpful? Did you know you could do this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.